Hey everybody, it's Cece here and in today's video tutorial I am going to show you just how to create the square knot for all of your macrame projects. I have also created a downloadable PDF guide called the Square Knot Bible and in that has all your tips and tricks that you need to become a square knotting master for your macrame projects. Now this is a free downloadable PDF so you just need to find the link in the description below and click on that link. It will take you straight to where you can download that for yourself to save onto your computer. So the square knot for macrame is a super versatile knot. I absolutely love it. If you're a beginner in macrame, it is the perfect place to start out. All right, so let's get straight into how we create the square knot. So for a macrame square knot, you'll need at least four cords. You'll have two working cords and two filler cords. Your working cords are the cords that you're going to use to create the knot and your filler cords are the ones that sit inside the knot when you're creating the knot. We take the left cord, the blue cord here, and what we're gonna do is create a bit of an L shape, or some people also say a four. And then we're gonna take our pink cord and we're gonna take that over the blue cord, underneath our two white filler cords, and pull it through the loop that we've created with that blue cord and pull that tightly together. You'll have something that looks a little bit like this, and that's the first half of your square knot. So to do the second half of the square knot, we're gonna reverse what we've just done. So we take the blue cord. Again, we're gonna create that shape, but it's like a backwards L this time. And then take your pink cord and go over the blue, under the cream, and pull it through the loop like so. Once you pull tightly on those two working cords, you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. And that's how you create a square knot. Let me run back through it again for you. Create an L shape, your pink cord, go over the blue, under your two working cords and pull through the loop, pull those tightly. I like to say in my head, over, under, through, because you take your working cord and you go over the other working cord, underneath your filler cords and through the loop that you've created. So every time you create a square knot, just say to yourself in your head, over, under, through. And so that's how you create the square knot. It is a little bit hard at first, so make sure you just keep practicing, stay patient, maybe watch this video over a few times through before you really get the hang of it. And I promise you, after that repetition, you will become a square knotting master. Now, once you have mastered the square knot, there are so many different things that you can do with it. I will show you two techniques now that you can use straight away that will give your projects a little bit more texture. So this technique shows you how you can use multiple filler cords inside of your knot to create a thicker square knot. So we've still got two outside working cords. Once again, I'm going to create my same square knot around the work. So we go like this, and then we grab all of the filler cords, and then we take our working cord underneath all of them and pull through the loop. And then when we go back the other way, we're creating that shape again and making sure that we have all of our working cords like this. This example shows you how you can use multiple outside working cords to create your knot. So this one I've actually got four working cords in each colour and four filler cords. So you still create the knot but you use these strings as one string and you create a big L and then you can take all of your pink ones and go over and pull them all through and create a nice chunky knot like so. And then we're gonna go back the other way and pull them all through the loop like this. And now we have a nice fat square knot. You can see that the more strings that you use on each side, the chunkier the knot will be. So there you have it guys. That's the basics to the square knot for your macrame projects. Remember, I do have that free downloadable PDF as well, so find that in the description below. And I'd also love to hear from you guys about what other knots you'd like to learn in macrame next. So do comment below and I'll try and get those tutorials sorted for you as soon as I can. If you did enjoy learning about the square knot, my next video will be on three tips to improving your square knotting skills. So make sure you hit the notification bell and you'll get notified on when that video comes out. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe as well. Here's to finding peace in creativity.